Hello, welcome to my ghost walkthrough of Catacombs of Nas. Yet another mission from the Dark Project 20th Anniversary Contest. Now, this is a two-mission campaign that recently got a major update, Catacombs of Nas Remastered, and that's what we're gonna be playing today. Although, I was already planning to record the let's play of it, even before I learned that the remaster was a thing. And the remaster obviously adds quite a bit of polish to both missions, but it also has changes specifically to make ghosting easier. And I'll talk about those when we get to mission 2, that's pretty much where all of them are. But for now, let's begin with part 1, and let's read the briefing. A soft knocking woke me from an uneasy sleep. Opening my apartment door with the caution that only a flash bomb up my sleeve and a sharpened sword can bring, I was just in time to see the edge of a darker shadow receding from view. On the doormat was a letter, and a hefty sack of coins. It seemed the keepers aren't above a little bribery, and they need my skills. They're concerned about some old necromancer called Nas, whose return was foretold in one of their damn prophecies. They want me to break into his tomb and steal his grimoire, the source of his power, before he returns to full strength. It might just be the keepers overreacting as usual, but since my encounter with Constantine, I'm a little less willing to immediately dismiss such stories as superstitious claptrap. Besides, the sack of gold was reassuringly heavy, and the note mentioned another one just like it upon completion. Okay, so our objectives. If you are to steal the grimoire of Nos, you must first break into his catacombs, which have been sealed by the hemorrhoids. Locate the key to the catacomb entrance. A warm summer's night means lots of open windows. Burgle at least 2300 from the locals. The catacombs are reputed to be very dangerous, a little extra luck couldn't hurt. Leave a couple of coins with a statue of the lady that overlooks the marketplace. Murdering people is unprofessional and brings unnecessary heat, kill no one. Lord Carfman, whose castle is in the area, is rumored to have a formidable stockpile of weaponry. Some extra equipment would come in handy for your journey into the catacombs. When you're ready, unlock the door to the catacombs and make your way inside. Alright. So, your equipment from Mission 1 will carry over to Mission 2, so if you want to stock up on holy water, for example, you can do that. For ghosting, you really don't need much of anything here. Six water arrows, three mass arrows should be enough. I will get this tip. Someone's willing to part with some advice for a bit of cash. But that's about it. So let's make a real save. And let's take a look at the map. So we have a small to medium city section and a cathedral in the north. We start here. And the map is open, you can approach it any way you like. If you want to beeline straight for the cathedral, you can do that. I personally found that for me the map flows best if I start in the east, and then I make my way over to the western section, and finally enter the cathedral. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm also gonna refer to this and this as east tower and east apartments, and then west tower and west apartments, so to avoid any confusion. Right, let's read the tip. Garrett, that pompous ass Dr. Bothwaite, lives in this area. He used to employ my sister as a cleaner, but he let her go when she spurned his lecherous advances. He's a rich bastard, and thanks to my sister, I know for a fact that he keeps a stash of wealth in a secret safe in his office. If you're in the area, you'd be doing me a favor by bringing him down a peg or two. His office are on the top floor of the red apartment Red brick apartment building, southwest of the cathedral, Finn. Okay, so that would be this apartment building. Notice to all citizens, be it known that the cathedral square and environs are to remain locked down from the tenth bell until sunrise, and no citizens except those of the guard and those noble brethren of the Hammerite Order may tread the cobbles for any purpose without the express permission of the burgomaster. Offenders shall be punished to the full extent of the law. Right, we also have Garrett's journal here, but this is just the briefing, which I already read. So, what's going on over there? Before you do anything, I highly Seems peaceful suggest enough now. getting into the cemetery, because you can get a certain key in here. Look there. So. Here we have Lady Carfman Grave. 
damage, and this is Lord Karthman then. And he has Karthman Armory Key. So getting into the armory is one of our objectives, and his estate is right here. So you really don't want to get into his estate without the key. Some other graves here have names on them, I'm not gonna read them, but I'll read this. Catacombs of Nas, sealed against the unquiet dead. Beware thou who would stand her. Okay. There are first alerts here going off all the time, but nothing really to worry about. If your supreme ghost in this area is much more difficult. So this is one way to get into the Eastern Apartments. I'm not gonna get there just yet. This guy has a purse. Worth 100. And we can get to the rooftops right away. This jump can be a little tricky, as well as this mantle here. <laughs> so this is one way to get into the cathedral. I'm gonna enter it through the vent on the other side. This building you can't access, but there is a purse to grab through the window, total 200. This way, we can access the East Tower. <laughs> there is a split, total 350. This window doesn't really lead anywhere. And there are some books. Corellio's Fifth Concerto. Fails and Aprigios, a history of musical blunders. How to read sheet music. This jump can be a little tricky, as well as this one. Here we go. Come out, you. <laughs> okay. You wanna land on this bedroll here to avoid making any noise. The coin stacks there, total 400. <laughs> And this way we can get into Lord Brock's estate. So there is a diamond heading from the chandelier and a base here, total 550. Here we have some June expenses, income, need 745. Am I, am I so desperate as to turn to Maurizio? Don't see anything now. Uh, so wet. It's a toilet, nothing in there. Now Lord Brock's estate had an overhaul in the remaster, and this wasn't here in the original version. So a whole new section here. Gotta wait for that guy to turn around. There we go. There is a goblet and a book. The crimes and blasphemies of the foul necromancer Nas. And it has the following chapters. Introduction, early life, a promising young student, curiosity killed the cat, the disappearance of Lissy Moraine, dangerous energies, banishment, what was discovered in Barbary Old, the books of Amber and Ash, the Bone Legion, Nos Triumphant, the corruption of Archmage Corvinus, Andalred's plan, the soul binding of the Grimoire, dismemberment and desecration, uh, lingering threat, and the catacombs of Nos. 
well, I would like to read more, but even the table of contents gives a brief biography. So that will have to do. I also want to get one more readable in this room, but there is nothing other than that. The Fairy Realm and other tales of the worlds beyond ours. It's really difficult to get that even for regular ghost. Okay, so we're done with Lord Brock's estate. Who goes there? <laughs> so next, I'm gonna enter the Serpent's Head Inn. Two containers here. Total 650. That window is where we will eventually have to go after we're done with the inn. Sir? Was that you? Still stuck here. Nothing making noise now. And the rug. Total 782. <laughs> Uh, in room 501, there is nothing, just the ventilation access. In room 502, there is a silver coin stack. And in room 503, <laughs> something happened. So we have a gold nugget and the compendium of earth magic. Valent, here is the book as promised. I hope I don't have to warn you to be careful. The raw staff of chaos is not at all to be wielded lightly. B. Well, apparently Valent didn't heed that warning. So here is the staircase to get down to the fourth floor. There is a guard here, but it shouldn't be difficult to pass. say that and he notices me. Okay. Did that shadow move? Just wait for him to turn around. We have ventilation access, which I'll probably use. Okay. So the stack. Garden up here isn't like downstairs. Those who can pay for the upper floor suites demand a better class of service. Take some time to familiarize yourself with them, address them courteously, and acquiesce to their every wish. Room 401. Bram the merchant, just one night, seems very nervous. Room 402. Wallace, gambler, often stays when playing at Ravenloft, good customer. Room 501. Lord Gilfred, moved to a downstairs room because he complained about the noise from the vents. Need maintenance in the morning. Room 502. How sack a brown, out partying till late, which he doesn't smash the place up. Room 503. Valent, scholar. I know he seems shifty, but play, play nice, he's rich. <coughs> okay. And this guy usually faces that way and out of the window. So, here we have rooms 402 and 401, but I'm gonna access them through the vents. So this is room 402 then, we have two curses here, total 1006. Save before dropping down here because half the time you would make a loud noise when landing. This will be my way out. This is room 401. There is no loot here. There is a note. Bram, my employer is a patient man, but he tires of your excuses. You will rent a room at the Serpent's Head Inn tonight. You will bring the outstanding money. Try anything and we'll collect your head as a bonus. Do not be late. L. 
Well, looks like he paid in full, and they did indeed collect his head. right underneath where we entered the inn, so we can use this so? as a way to get back. <laughs> and we're pretty much done at the inn now. Another real save. Now, this pipe, no matter how you land on it, it will always make noise. So you could try jumping over it and landing on the border there. You can even do that without making any noise. But it's very difficult. And I don't want to spend the next few minutes just reloading a save, so I'll just use a mass arrow here. But it is possible. <laughs> So this is the Eastern Apartments then. This building was completely redone in the updated version. <coughs> Mirabel, it is just as you suspected. Ramirez is set on reclaiming land in the sealed section. I fear his mind is all the more set on, the, on it since his humiliation at the hands of the trogue he crossed. I have tried to reason with him, as well as to dance primely into the catacombs of Nos or the Bone Horde itself as to venture beyond the old quarter wall, but he is not to be dissuaded. It may be time for you and I to discuss the future. Whether by the design of a rival warden, or this walled section nonsense, it is surely but a matter of time before Ramirez is through, and I for one do not intend to be dragged down with him. Rain. She sometimes walks into this room, would be a good time to sneak out. There is a coin stack here and two more pieces of loot in that room. Perfect. Actually gonna there? close oh. these doors, so there's a gold plate and a gold candlestick. Total 11 11. Random death statue. Seems peaceful enough now. And this door we can pick and it will lead into the rest of the apartments. You can avoid picking it if you want. But that would mean you have to approach the uh, other section of the apartments from the ground floor. And this will just save me a bit of time. Hello? Is someone there? So in this busted up apartment is just the money box with the purse, total 1129. Don't know what it was. Nothing making noise now. <laughs> so this there? leads out to the balcony. Is someone there? That's gonna be our way forward. Nothing here now. Down here is the door leading out. We passed through here at the beginning of the mission. Underneath here is a statue, total 11.54. And when are they going to bring me my dinner? Who's there? Right here. There? And another pickable door. Now, this is the only room 
in the entire apartment building that is pretty much unchanged from the initial release. So, coin stack, not a coin stack, a candlestick. Two goblets, a pair of coins in the toilet hole, and the letter. Fabian, I know you and I have a lot of history, but please believe me when I say that I want nothing more than for this bitter feud to come to an end. The truth is, I have always admired you as an actor, and it wounds me that we should bear one another in a grudge. Might we not meet to share a drink and see if we can resolve our differences? I have in my possession a rather lovely bottle of 57 Chateau Blanc that I am willing to share as a peace offering. Yours in earnest hope, Salvatore. Three more trophies up here. Total 1494. And this is Fabian, I assume. There is also a shovel here. Okay, so getting out through the balcony is pretty safe. You can rope up here. And get to the balcony of Lord Gristwood's estate, but gotta do it faster than that. Did that shadow move? That's the last time I jump for rats. <sighs> huh? Who's that? Oh, come on. It's a good way forward, just a little bit luck based. I probably wouldn't be doing this if you're supreme ghosting or just trying to minimize number of times you really would save. Huh? Seems clear enough now. Huh? Nothing to be seen now. Okay, good. <laughs> So this, like I said, is Lord Gristwood's estate, and that guard has a purse on him. So I'm actually gonna wait here to grab it. Sir? Was that you? Okay. Not I'm here now. This is just an unnamed building. Probably abandoned. But we can use it to rope up. <laughs> There's a money box. The coin stack. A purse, total 1749. Severed head in a bag. Lotho, have a care when you meet with that weasel Bram. It wouldn't surprise me if he has some trick up his sleeve yet. At this point it's not even about the money. If he doesn't have it, make of him such an example that his fellow debtors will be falling over themselves to pay up. See, done. M. Okay. This way we can get into Lord Christwood's manor. Now be careful descending onto this grating here. Just gotta do it really, really slowly, otherwise you risk making a lot of noise. Also dropping down from here is a little safer, and this is then the balcony of the apartment building we went through. We can make a little noise here, but past this point... Better to start creep crouch crawling. And I'm gonna make another real save here. This drop for some reason is also very inconsistent. So just save before dropping.
can't really see it from up here, but there is a switch. can barely see it. And that opens a panel in this attic space, where we get the Wand of the Sunken Blades. Now this, it's a little bit out of order that I'm getting it now. In the law firm building, you can find a letter that gives a hint to there actually being something in Lord Gristwood's manor and an explanation of what it can be used for. So I'll read that later. But this is an item we're gonna be using in mission 2, actually. It's not used in this mission. Hey! I think I saw something! That other guy All quiet now. has a key Must on him. Rats. So let's see if I can hide here. Gristwood house key. Strange noise. Here is a bottle of wine. My dear Eliza, I know that you advised against it, but I cannot in good conscience sit idle and do nothing while my daughter is tormented so. The doctor was as useless as the rest, for he would not accept my, that my dear Anastasia suffers from, not from, any worldly sickness, but is truly tormented by the evil that even now lurks beneath her feet. Her innocence, her purity, is a beacon for the creature of darkness, and it must be destroyed. I have sent Anastasia to stay with her aunt, and I am mustering my courage for the journey to, into the catacombs. If I should not return, pray for the Builder to find my soul. Here faithfully, O Lord Roland Gristwood. And in this room, there is a silver coin stack up here, and a pair of spectacles. Total 1861. I once again hide behind the door here. It's really nice that doors completely block AI vision, so you can use them as hard cover. And well, I didn't make it there. Let me hide here. <coughs> so now that guard is gonna be stationed right outside that door. <coughs> so... I'm gonna have to follow this guy out. Really nice patrol setup here. Just two guards, but their interlocking patrols really cover this area very well. Okay, don't go into this hole. It's well lit, tile floored, and you can circumvent it like this. <laughs> Here's a tiara, total 1986, and let me just quickly show you, not gonna go here, but there is an exit, so we're currently standing right here. You can jump over to the western apartments, as well as to the balcony here, 
Hello? Hey, stop! So, Don't move. we were here a few minutes ago, and Grist Witkowski opens this door, leading into this hallway I told you to avoid. Stood house, he also opens this door. And this balcony looks dark, but it's actually pretty well lit. You can only hide here. So, right now we're in this courtyard, and I'm gonna jump over to Lord Karthman estate. There's a goblet, a rug, and a note. Dear Lord Karthman, Allow me to express my deepest sympathies for the loss of your wife, and apologize once again for being unable to attend her funeral. The circumstances are truly tragic, and as a friend I am deeply concerned for your well-being. I am told that you spend every night drinking beside Lady Carthman's grave. Far be it for me to say what a man should or should not do in grief, but I would invite you to consider an alter alternative. Come to stay at my villa in the country. It is quiet and far from the noise and bustle of the city, and it is my fervent hope that you might find some peace in, this serene, in the Serene Gardens there. Here with love, Lord Voland. So that's one hint to where you can find Lord Karthman. And there is another hint on the second floor here. Huh? About the armory key. And in this room there is a goblet, two candlesticks, and a green vase. Strange noise. All quiet now. Must have been rats. Here we go. 23, 26, and we've checked off the loot objective. Probably not. Who goes there? That's the last time I jump for rats. Here it is. Notice the old stuff. The ladies' room is to remain undisturbed, and no one is to go in for any reason. Guards may enter any other part of the estate in the pursuit of their duties, apart from the armory, which is to remain locked at all times. If access re is required, Lord Carthman keeps the key on his person at all times. Head servant Bramley. So there, it says that Lord Carthman has the key. Sir? In case you missed that, was that you? in the graveyard at the beginning. Hey, what was that? Who is there? Is someone there? Hmm. <clears throat> Must have been rats. Did you see that too? So the armory is right here. Seems peaceful enough now. Hey! So No, not really. So you don't have to pick up anything, the objective checks off when you step into the room. There is just a bunch of offensive equipment, fire arrows, mines. If you wanna go on a zombie killing spree in the second mission you can take that, <laughs> but I don't need any of that. So next I wanna get into that hole, and it's doable, it's not very difficult, and you can do this without dousing this torch, but I'm actually gonna do that because it will make it much easier. For Supreme, I don't think you can make it in time, so you have to look for another way. And in version 2, there actually is another way to get into that attic. In version 1, there was none. So, when I played version 1 Supreme Ghost style, I had to skip a piece of loot there. Rug, total 2476. So this vent doesn't really lead anywhere, just gonna fall down if you go this way. But this is new, wasn't here in version 1. 
and it's very useful. And very dangerous. Okay. <coughs> so this is where I'm gonna go eventually. But for now, I'm gonna access this western tower. And I'm gonna leave the rope hanging here. <laughs> Jump! Thank you. This is a pretty cool building. So we have three floors here. But behind this bed is a secret button, which will send the elevator to the basement. And also open the panel, so that it actually can go to the basement. Before you press that button, this hatch right here is closed. So, I am disappointed to hear you have made little progress. The presence in the city of you and your abominable tower is only tolerated because of the arrangement I have with your master. Make no mistake, there are forces that would jump at the chance to drive you out, or simply lynch you in the street. I hold their leashes, for now. I don't care what you have to do. Go down into the catacombs and confront Nos himself for all I care. But get me results or suffer the consequences. M. And here, we have a crumbling scrap of paper. Eleventh from the bottom, silent are his sights. He gazes on the greedy with unholy eyes. He leadeth mighty archers out with from the grave, and only with a blessing might his hand be stayed. So that's a hint to something you can do in mission two, and I'll show you that when we get there. Actually, let's go to the first floor. I'm gonna quickly show you. You can unlock the front door, so to speak, and get out to the streets here. So these are the shops, and you can pick the lock on each door. I wouldn't recommend that, because that guard will almost certainly catch you. So I'm gonna access the shops in a different way. There is also a piece of loot in that fountain behind him, which I'm also gonna get a different way. Wrong button again. We get to the second floor, grab this gold skull. Level 2576. And now we're done. Finally, couldn't crouch on this table for some reason, and you can't actually fit through the window that way. Okay, jumping over here can be a little sketchy because it's all slanted. So. This is the idea. You actually have to jump for it to work. Here we go. So you can go down to the floor below here. It's easier than it seems. Here we go. Another coin stack. Please respect the fellow residents. Keep quiet in the stairwell, particularly during the hours of darkness. My lord, nothing we can leverage in terms of building code violations. As far as the city is concerned, he owns the land, he can build whatever he likes. 
as much as I am loath to suggest it. A better tactic might be to rile up the Hammerites. A few choice words in the right ear about how the tower is a blasphemous symbol of his eastern superstitions and an affront to the builder, and they might just do the job for us. Atticus. Apparently people don't like the tower around here. There is a green vase, and this will take us out here. And it's a much better way to get the piece of loot. Just gotta wait for this guy to turn around. A thousand coming. Thought I saw something. There we go. Pair of coins, total twenty six seventy one. Okay. So now <coughs> they're gonna access. Another section of the apartment building. Sir? And this is where the doctor who was mentioned oh, in well. our tip lives. Good time for another real save. What it was. So in this room there is nothing. Healing potion. The Unbearable Tightness of Peen, Dictionary of Bladder Infections. Getting ahead of phrenology. Who's there? Who said that? Patient notes, Anastasia Gristwood. Patient suffers from periods of hysteria and lunatic visions, night terrors and somnambulance. When lucid, she appears quite sane. Her delusion is fixated upon the belief that she is tormented by some improbable creature, a malevolent spirit that manifests as a skull dripping blood. Fantastical as the delusion may be, her fear of it is quite real, and she presents an outward mood so blackly convincing that a more superstitious man might give undue credit to the veracity of her ravens. Indeed, her father has certainly unwittingly done so, thereby unhelpfully feeding into her condition. Initial prescription. Extract of valerian root as a nightly sedative and regular bloodletting. And under his desk is a switch. I love it when money falls into my lap. So this is what the tip was hinting towards. Total 2841. Hello? Is someone there? And here is the doctor himself. Imagining things. With the <laughs> patient. Hmm, thought I saw something. Ring. Candlestick. Madam Mercus, I am right in with some reluctance to complain. I am modest, humble man, but I fear I cannot remain silent after the treatment I received from your establishment. Firstly, I specifically requested a natural blonde. The girl supplied was very clearly not a natural blonde once she had defrocked. Secondly, I requested that she refer to me only by my full title of Dr. Bothwait MD, or Your Worship. The wretched girl kept calling me Mr. in a dreadfully common accent. For the amount of money I pay, I expect better. If you do not wish to lose my patronage, I suggest you find a way to compensate me for this outrage I have endured. Yours faithfully, the worshipful Dr. Benedict Bothwait MD. This guy is so full of himself. <laughs> So here we have the Lady of Luck, drop the coins, and complete this objective. So next we're gonna enter the artist's studio, and here you can actually drop down like this. So I'm standing on top of the door right now. And you can also rope up here, from the street level, I guess. Kinda risky. Let's see what can I get here? Oh, I hear the guard through the wall. That's not good. He might have heard me. To 
to do. Finish carving scholar statues for La Lady Amelia. Visit Lord Carlyle to repair a statue with missing head. Find a new assistant for the church gargoyle job. R.A.P. Jeremy. Order more marble for courthouse commission. Still no payment from Lord Carthman for his wife's gravestone. Delicate. Send flowers with the overdue notice. So right now we're above the shops. And this is the law firm entrance. Now, as ridiculous it, as it may sound, this is actually the best way to get in there and the law firm connects to the shops. <sighs> so, you could douse the torches here, but it's unnecessary. And as long as you move slowly, so you wanna creep crouch strafe, that guy won't see you. So I'm actually gonna save and show you this. A lawyer's letter. Yansley, I appreciate you sending me that bundle of documents. You were right, they are ancient. Some of the structural server records date back to the last expansion of the catacombs. Of particular interest was the reference to a water shrine being built in a partially flooded ca cavern. Not particularly exciting by itself, there is a lot of guff about magical sword traps and some arcane wand used to disarm them, but what's fascinating is the architect's name is cited as Gristwood. Do you suppose this could be the ancestor of the current Lord Gristwood from just across the street? Quite a remarkable coincidence either way. Halbeck. So that's the hint then, to that you can find the wand in Gristwood Manor and what it does. So in mission 2 we're gonna use it to disarm some traps. <laughs> Dear Miss Laro, thank you for your time yesterday. I regret to inform you that after considerable deliberation we will be unable to represent you in this case at the present time. Your allegations against Lord Giles are of very serious nature and it would be imprudent of us to drag his good name into such a scandal without irrefutable proof. If at such a time as you are able to procure such evidence, we will be happy to reconsider. You are sincerely Samuel Bolger, solicitor, Harris Bolger and Yensley Law Firm. I'm twitchy as hell. Seems clear. So here, have to wait for him to face that way. And you can creep, crouch straight Nothing. past him. Grab the pair of spectacles here, total. Yeah. 3091. And I hear an archer who's coming this way. Let's wait for him. <coughs> so here we have the storage. Two pieces of loot here. 3266, and this connects to the shops. So let's start at the furthest one. This is the bakers, and we have the coin stacks. And really cute cake. Nothing else. The bookseller has a coin stack here. Oh well. The big book of Don't body limericks. Oh, and compendium whoa. of pious fables. Oh, and if you climb this, you can get a mask. 3320. And if you turn around. I'm gonna immediately see an old torn page. The king of the night sun sleeps in his tomb, down in the earth where his light cuts the gloom. His pets, scrapped of flesh, lie waiting to feed, offer fresh meat so their souls can be freed. So yet another hint to something we can do in mission 2. And we have to bring a piece of meat with us from mission 1, because there is none of that in mission 2. And luckily, There is a butcher right here. So if you want to ghost the second mission, you have to bring at least one deer leg with you. So 
course here total 3420. I don't know why I'm rushing this. I'm gonna have to follow him anyway. Seems clear enough now. <coughs> so this hint about the meat and the setup with the meat itself, the wand we found in Gristwood Manor. Someone behind me and all that wasn't in the original release. All that was introduced in the remaster. And that will make Ghost in the second mission easier. Or possible, even. Did you see something? No! Over there! Too much coffee. I gotta this wait morning. for this guy now. I'm twitchy as hell. Seems clear. <coughs> so you could use a mass arrow here, that'll certainly make it easier. But it's unnecessary. So once he faces Which way is that? South East. <coughs> I'm gonna make our move. There we go. What you wanna do here is jump onto this table. And to jump without making any noise, you wanna kinda jump from the crouched position. So you crouch and jump. can be a little tricky at first, but it's really easy to get the hang of. And then we just... Of course. Hey, well, gotta wait for that guy, obviously. Kinda forgot about him. surprising that he doesn't see you, but very useful. Okay, and now we are done with the city. So all we have left <laughs> is the cathedral, and like I said, gonna use this vent. So let's make another real save. Now in the cathedral, first thing you wanna know is that you never wanna go down there there is nothing to pick up, and now. it's really hard to get through the nave. Oh, I didn't know that he was coming this way. Well, okay. While I wait for that guy, I'm gonna head up here. Tablet here, total 34, 45. Now, hold thy place. Okay, just want to show you something. Mm, I do wonder what it was. If you want to save a bit of time after coming through the church, you can actually jump from here and mantle that building, and you'll fall. Well, you'll mantle it, and then you let go of your jump key and you fall to the ground without taking any damage. It's kind of tricky to do though, so I'm, I'm not gonna try that in this video.
I'm pretty sure I'm busted here. Where has Yep. Hammer and will forge and fire. Chase away. Kinda unlucky with the patrols here. Well now, twas but the wind on the torches. I can't take something move, thought I saw. Hmm. I know not what it was. So here in the library. If be there, bespeak thyself. There is nothing to pick up, really. All is well now. Just a note, meeting agenda. Reading of the prayer of Mothar. Discussion of supply budget, compare last year's figures, maintenance roda for the next week, get volunteers for Fair Isle Monastery Expedition, any other business. Do not let guests on sidetrack meeting with talk of organizing a catacombs expedition again. And in the west barracks here, the only food locker with anything of value is this one. So we're going stack. This will take you out to the walkway you can use to get to the eastern section. Halt. The cathedral. No need to go here just yet. Or not at all, really. Here we can see a chest. Thirty-five, fifty-seven. In the kitchen here, two gold candlesticks and a plate. Total thirty-seven oh seven. Just to quickly show you, this leads to the nave. Absolutely no reason to go here. Also, just for completion's sake. Meal schedule, nothing really interesting. And in the machine room, there is maintenance schedule. In the pantry here is a bottle of wine. Bottle 3757. <laughs> and through this yard, we can get to the eastern side of the cathedral. Now this will just Hello, take you Who goes over here. Ah! There is nothing to do or pick up here. There is one... Ah! One plaque. Go forth unto the earth and make of it a city of stone and light. But otherwise no need to go there at all. Here we have the hammer of smiting. In the kitchen are one, two, three valuable hammers, total 4057. Nothing in the sparring area. So, this is exactly like on the other side, so... The layout of the cathedral is more or less symmetrical, which further makes it easier to get an idea of how it laid out. So, here I'll go eventually. Now, let's check this place. Come the time of darkness, did the prophet say. Here though we are beset upon the beasts of the trickster, let us forge away into the deep forest, let us cut down the trees and mine of the rocks and construct a mighty fortress that the children and the children's children might be safe. And those men did scoff at his words, and quail at such honest toil, and did say, Nay, we are safe enough here. Those loyal to the prophet came unto the forest, and the builder did smile upon them, and they built for him a mighty castle of righteous stone and steel. And when the beast did over on town, the people fled to the fortress and begged, Let us in, that these walls of stone may protect us. 
but the prophet spake, See now thy complacency, and what it hath wrought. If thou art worthy, the builder shall, shall surely spare thee. And the mighty gates stayed shut, and lo, the disbelievers were consumed forthwith by the creatures of the forest. They take all this stuff way too seriously. Yep. Gold goblet here. From this balcony you can reach the gold hammer. Total 4157. You can actually use this to get to the other side. <laughs> Not sure if this was intentional, and it's not really the best way to do it, but you can. In the eastern section of the barracks there is nothing of value. And in the priest's bedroom here... Oh, I hope he didn't notice me. Okay, good. Who is there? there is a note on is the table and there? the key. That we're gonna need. Kind of a tricky place because it's really well lit here. I will have. If thou be there, bespeak thyself. Your Excellency, the catacombs are sealed for a reason. It is not a question of space. I can assure you that the brothers of this church are hard-working, honest craftsmen, and would have no trouble with the excavations. It is a matter of consecration. Evil dust lurk there, seeping up from unknown hidden depth, and the dead walk those once sacred passageways. It would be a craven act to set men to work in such danger, and a curse upon any interred there. I shall have no part of it. Surely thou canst extend the crypt at the High Town Temple instead of risking men's very souls in that pit of desecration. High Priest Umbard. Ah, here, have the catacombs key. Looking for. So that checks off our objective of finding it. And now we just have to make our way to the catacombs. So despite what I said earlier about not going down to the nave, I'm gonna do just that. But only to reach the front door. That shouldn't be difficult. I thought I was standing on the carpet. Notice thou anything there? All is quiet now. Vigilance is our shield that protects us from our squalid past. Knowledge is our weapon with which we carve a path to an enlightened future. Look over there, dost thou see? Hello? Show yourself. Yes. Someone saw me. I should probably be checking All is well now. every way before I move. Away the hooked liar, roof and doorway, block and beam, chase the trickster from our dreams. Hello, Thief! show the <coughs> okay. You know what? I'm gonna wait for him to come here and leave. All seems peaceful now. I 
and that other patroller in the street should be out of the way by that time as well. Stand forth and speak thyself if thou be there. Hmm. There's nothing there now. Okay. So, there is graveyard keeper's hut. The goblet, total 4172. That's the last piece of loot in the mission. And now we have all the loot. <laughs> so, all we have to do. He uses the this looks like the, the way in. And get in. Right, here we go. Mission complete in 42 minutes, 34 seconds. Found 4172 loot, which is all of it. Picked for all four pockets and two locks, which you can bring down to one if you're willing to access the eastern apartments from two different sides. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in part two where we will actually get the catacombs of Nas. Until then, take care.